Hey, what's up, soldiers? My name is Greg FPS, the Zombies Extraordinaire, and welcome back to another Call of Duty Zombies Top 5. Today, we're going to be doing the top five weapons that will forever be a classic in Zombies. This was requested by Samboy115. So, since he has 115 in his name, he is a certified Zombies legend. So that's what we're doing today guys if you do enjoy the video make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new make sure to turn on notifications as well that'd be greatly appreciated and if you guys do end up subscribing let me know down below in the comment section so you can appear on screen like all of these awesome people on screen right now so without further ado guys let's get into the top five classic weapons from call of duty zombies history Coming in at the number five spot is going to be the ray gun. You couldn't make a classic guns list without the ray gun. Now the ray gun is iconic for Call of Duty Zombies, being the first wonder weapon on Nocturne and Taunton and then going all the way up until Black Ops 3. We've seen this gun and it is really something special. Why do you think they made the ray gun Mark II and the ray gun Mark III? They only got better as that progressed. Now the Reagan Mark II in my opinion is the best out of all of the different ray gun variations, but they wouldn't have made variations to this gun if it wasn't special. And the ray gun definitely has a, you know, place in my heart. Back in the day in World at War, when you play zombies, the ray gun was a highly sought after gun. It was the gun that everyone wanted and when you got it, you considered yourself set until you go down from splash damage. Then they fixed the problem. They invented PhD flopper. We got it first on Ascension and boom, everything was fixed. There was no splash damage with that perk. Then the ray gun ended up, you know, continuing on, but it wasn't really the main focus anymore. There was different wonder weapons to replace it. And then it kind of drifted away. But the reason I want to put the ray gun at the number five spot is because it, it was the first wonder weapon and it was the first weapon that everyone wanted back in the day so it is always going to be considered a classic weapon coming in at the number four spot is going to be another iconic weapon from call of duty world at war you guys are going to see a common theme that all these weapons are from world at war but next in the list at number four is going to be the stg 44. Now, when you pack punch it, it becomes the SPATS minus 447 plus, and this weapon is iconic. It was next to Teleporter C in the back of Doris. You could buy it off the wall, and it's one of those weapons that's pretty reliable. The reason it was brought into Origins overall is because of how memorable this weapon was, and having that time period work and intertwine with the zombie storyline, it fit perfectly on Origins, and whenever I play Origins, I always make it a point to buy this gun. It's located in various different areas around the map, and if I have a Boom Hilda and an STG and a Staff, I'm set 100%. So every time I have Mule Kick, I always get the STG and pack a punch it because it is really, really good. Now this weapon to me is very, very classic because I remember playing Doris and buying it off the wall whenever I ran out of ammo on a different gun and I wasn't getting a max ammo. That way I could always buy ammo off the wall and also it was a really good gun to pack a punch because it was really strong for taking off headshots. So the number four spot goes to the STG 44. Coming in at the number three spot for another classic weapon from Call of Duty Zombies is going to be the MP40. Now, although I didn't really play World at War too religiously, the MP40 was a gun that I got a lot from the box. Now, the MP40 was actually extremely good, but I remember using it most on Kino Der Toten. And that is why I think this deserves a classic weapon spot. It was in World at War and a lot of people use it. There was wall buys as well, which always made that nice. But I would still say that to me, Kino is still considered to be one of the most highly sought after played maps, I guess you could say. Like a lot of people have played Kino. If you ask somebody if they've ever played zombies, chances are they've played Kino. So the MP40 is always the gun that you buy once you open up that area in the speed cola room. It's only a thousand points off the wall and they even brought it back into Origins because it was a classic weapon and it was 1300 because they actually made it a little bit better on Origins. So overall, 
I would say that the MP40 definitely deserved to be on this list at the number three spot. Coming in at the number two spot is going to be the PPSH. Now this weapon is fantastic, especially in World at War, and they ended up bringing it into Black Ops 3 and the reaction from the community speaks for itself. This weapon is extremely iconic when it comes to Call of Duty because it is a Russian made weapon and overall this weapon was very very good. Now the PPSH when pack punch is called the Reaper and being able to pack a punch this gun on Reese was one of the best things you could do in zombies period. It was so so good and having it be brought back into you know our recent Call of Duty on Garad Krovi was so cool to see and it's even on some of the maps in Zombies Chronicles. So overall the PPSH 100% deserved to be at the number two spot. Coming in at the honorable mention spot, we only have one gun for this honorable mention. It is going to be the most iconic LMG in Call of Duty Zombies history, and that is the MG42. This weapon 100% deserves to be on this list for the lore that even surrounds this weapon. Having a thing underground on Verrocked underneath the fountain with the MG42 on it is really really cool they even paid homage to this on the verrucked portion of revelations you can see the mg42 mounted on top of the fountain and you need to throw the summoning key at it while you're doing the easter egg they also added in the same exact thing on the remastered version of verrucked so it's really cool to see that this weapon is getting the respect it deserves it's located outside of some of the barriers on Drazendrak. And overall, this weapon just had to be on the list. It is by far my favorite LMG in Call of Duty history, just because of how fast it fired, how strong it was, and the reload time was really fast as well, which made this weapon an excellent choice if you're trying to camp and even just kill a bunch of zombies. So the MG42 had to be in the honorable mention spot. And coming in at the number one spot, guys, for the most iconic weapon in Call of Duty Zombies history, the most classic weapon has to be the M1911. Now, this weapon we've seen as the starting pistol, except for Origins, since World at War. In World at War, we had the Colt 1911, and then in Black Ops 1 and 2, we had the M1911, and it's basically the same exact weapon. Now, especially on Kino Der Toen, with that silver pistol look, that reload sound, getting Mustang and Sally's on other maps as well, and it was silver in Black Ops 1 especially, I would say that the M1911 from Black Ops 1 is by far the best version of the 1911. Having Mustang and Sally's with PhD was just amazing. And overall, I think that the Mustang and Sally 100% and 1911, I mean, it's basically the same thing here, is going to be considered the most classic weapon in Zombies. We got it brought back into Zombies Chronicles, and it was a little bit different. It wasn't really as good. It looked a little too futuristic, which I was kind of upset with. And a lot of the community was because it didn't sound the same. But I really hope that in the next Treyarch game, they give us the classic 1911 as the starting pistol and it's just as good as the black ops 1 version but anyways guys that is going to be my list for the top five classic weapons the weapons that will always be classic when it comes to call of duty zombies if you guys disagree or you think anything should be added definitely let me know down below now there was other ones i was thinking of like the m14 or the olympia but at the same time i don't feel like i've used those weapons enough to consider them classics anyways guys thank you once again for watching my name is greg fps the zombies extraordinaire and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out